Omicron still not officially confirmed in the valley, but local doctors have their suspicions. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Oscar Rodani. And I'm Christine Galvan. More than 75% of the valley's eligible population is fully vaccinated against COVID. But today, both Hidalgo and Cameron counties reported infection spikes in their daily reports. Long COVID testing lines have returned. At-home testing kits now sold out or hard to find. As Stephanie Rosales reports, a Brownsville pediatrician has a few things he wants parents to know. Parents concerned about the Omicron variant, making sure they get their kids tested. Dr. Asim Samir, a Brownsville pediatrician, says he's even had to turn some parents and their children away testing 300 or more people a day. And we're trying to help as much as possible, but we ran out of the test. We have the employee shortage. We have the, we are trying to find the help. Dr. Samir also says he's seeing more kids testing positive as well. 30% or more positive cases compared to two months ago. But he doesn't want parents to panic because so far, the symptoms he's seeing are not that severe. The good news is that this Omicron is is not it's very it's, it's spreading very fast but it's not giving you very uh, sick symptoms uh, you're getting a simple flu-like symptoms symptoms like fever chills and a sore throat dr jose campo maldonado an infectious disease physician at valley baptist in harlingen says he's also seeing an increase in positive cases some reports that suggest that maybe this is less severe uh or present less severely um at least uh, in general than the Delta variant that was the one that we had before. Maldonado says they are also experiencing a staffing shortage and both doctors say they expect to see a rise in hospitalizations soon. So we're expecting, so let's see what nature brings us, let's see which way the virus goes and which, let's see what happens at that time. So we should be prepared uh, if that happens. He recommends the best time to get tested is two days after exposure or when you start feeling the symptoms. Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 10.